it's Atletico Madrid who win the penalty shootout. And it's Atletico Madrid who reach the last eight. And Inter's first defeat of 2024 has come in spot kick drama. Well, it's a terrible penalty. As you said, he looked down at the ground. Did his standing foot just slip away from him? But what a night for Atleti. When they went one down in this game, you thought that might be all over, but they equalised almost immediately. And it's been to and fro right until the penalty kicks. And they've just kept their nerve here, and a couple of really good saves as well from Oblak. What a moment for him. He needed that. So did this club. Great night for Atleti. For the first... Sorry for me of uh, mischance for Inter at home and also, let's all be honest, Atletico Madrid, a lot of mischances uh, here. Mm -hmm. No to Ramad one, but these guys always find a way. We have to give him credit. Experienced, mattered. Whenever his back's against the wall or you think he's maybe losing it or you're talking about how we play, we analyse them before the game, yeah. you always come back with something. Atletico Madrid, they definitely have a special sort of you know, connection between the manager and the supporters, players. There is a real bond there that gets them over the line in games like this. One of the favourites. People, you know, I, I, I was involved also of thinking that it was going to be a team difficult to beat. But if, if a team could beat Inter, is a team that plays like Inter. Five, three, two. You don't have your usual advantage with your wing back. Um, it's very difficult because they play the same system. Um, that, that, that's a tough one. That doesn't happen a, a lot to them to play the same system as they have. But look, football is a story of taking your chances. You don't, you get punished. Is it worse to go out on penalties? As in terms of how you, how you feel it, how you experience it? No, not really. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so. I'm not a massive believer in that you've lost the game because of a penalty shootout. If I was the coach of the players, I'd say we didn't do enough in the game mm. to win the game. So I'd never blame Martinez here if he missed the penalty or somebody before. It's about not doing enough in the game. And they had the chances. Martinez twice put chances on a plate for players, but you see the reactions here. But I actually think Manchester City, who we'd all say the best team, in this competition, be absolutely delighted Inter Milan have gone out. Because no, I think they're one of the few teams that could cause them a problem. I'm not sure Atletico Madrid can if there was that matchup. So I think a lot of teams in the competition would probably be pleased Griezmann. with this result. Can Griezmann we just very was outstanding. Yes, I'll come back to you one second. Can we just very quickly say a, a warm welcome to everybody who is watching over on the Golasso Network and thank you for joining us here on Paramount Plus. Sorry, let's go back to you. No, no, because it was, uh, it was on the screen and I just thought that it was, it was outstanding. Being able to understand the game like it does, defending, going on the counter, being able to play a long time. Yes, uh, it, it didn't finish the game, but I mean, the whole team, the stadium, it's very important also when you play the return leg in this type of situation, being an extra time and taking the penalty at home. But um, look, it's a dangerous team, as you said, uh, uh, Jamie, when their back is against the wall. Uh, but Griezmann was the X factor. You, you saw the, the scenes of Simeone there as well with the tears kind of coming down his face, mm -hmm. right? Which you think, okay, you've just made it through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. The truth is, had they gone out of the competition at this stage, they would have had very little left to play for yeah. in the season. They would have been defending fourth place, essentially, making sure they got European yeah. football for next season. So this gives them a, a huge boost in that sense. Yeah, and, um, you know, as you can see, look at our... You know, the, the, the chemistry that they have, the understanding that they have with their fans. You also have to give a, a, a massive, uh, you know, respect to All Black. He came big uh, once again when his team uh, needed him. A lot of people were saying that maybe he, he passed his, be his best, best years, but he's still a great goalkeeper and he showed it once again tonight. Atletico Madrid, by the way, the first team ever to win three Champions League shootouts. Is that just... Is that discipline? Is that what you practice? Is that what that is? Well, has he been involved in all of that? How far I don't back know, that's a going? great question. I don't know how far back we're going out. It's a great stat, but we don't have any more context to it. Sorry. Yeah, yes, I mean, all, listen, all of got... them under Diego Simeone. Yes, all yeah, of well, them Yeah, well, listen, they've got that, I mean, you're talking about all black, but talking about someone over the last 10 years who can arguably put himself alongside any other goalkeeper in European mm. football. Mm. So that is a huge help. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Uh, and I think some, in some ways maybe they're pleased to get to penalty shootouts because they play like that. They don't really. Some teams are disappointed when they get there because they, you know, 
we did enough to win the game, were we trying to win the game? I don't think Atletico Madrid are always trying to win the game in some ways, and they're quite happy to go to an extra time or a penalties and take the chance. It's interesting because obviously we had the other game tonight between um, Dortmund and PSV, and when we saw Jaden Sancho score, one of the things you said is there are certain players who are just better in one particular shirt. Antoine Griezmann would have to be representative of that as well to some extent, wouldn't he, Thierry, that just in this Atletico shirt, for whatever reason, he shines? Yeah, he does. We talked about him so many times, uh, the, his understanding of the game, uh, how clever he is on the ball, how he sees the game. Um, we talked the other day about him, obviously, passing Luis Aragonés uh, to be the, the all-time goal scorer of, the, of, uh, of Atleti. Um, the only thing is that very unfortunate for him is every time he left, they won. Uh, no, it's, it's just unfortunate because he, he managed to, to, to win uh, with the national team, with the French national team, and uh, I'm sure he's going to want to, you know, add, add the title there because other than that, he's in the heart of the fans. You can see, look at, look at Koke, what it means to Koke, and, and how is that pass, by the way, uh, on the goal of, uh, of, uh, of the pie was, uh, was just uh, outstanding. But yeah, when, when you think about Atleti, you think about. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, Cholo, I'm speaking about uh, Simeone, and, uh, and uh, Griezmann, Godin, you know, I'm not going to go back to the, to the old squad, but Griezmann is, 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 is definitely a guy that uh, um, they will always remember. He's still there, I'm not saying that he's leaving, obviously, because we all know he's staying, but he loves that, he loved, he loved the club. We were seeing the kind of, the, just the emotional scenes there. Um, the players at Atletico Madrid, Diego Simeone in tears. It obviously meant a huge amount to the team. Um, just how special is the atmosphere at the Metropolitano right now? I think you can clearly see on the eyes of the of the people. You mentioned Simeone first, he was crying at the end of the game, but you, you can pick a, a lot of people on the stand, fans that are, you know, with their eyes all red and uh, waiting and hoping that everything is going to be all, all right, you know, during the game. So the, definitely the energy in the stadium was... Uh, was uh, on, the, on the side of uh, Atletico, not because of the fans only, because they play home, but because you can see in every moment during during the game also. When, for example, uh, some Inter player miss a good opportunity, they look they look away with the eyes, you know, kind of lost. It's like, a, oh, why? What happened? On the other side, when Atletico miss opportunity, the players were something like more more upset, but then come back straight away on the on the pitch, on the mind on the pitch. And I think the only regret that Inter can have tonight is they start to play football a little bit late. They start to play football in the second uh, extra time, and and they, they can do better during the game because they have possession, but it was wasn't a possession that. The, the only opportunity that they had was on the counter-attack. So when they have the ball, Inter can do much better. On the penalty shootout, you know, sometimes it's luck, sometimes you prepare yourself better, sometimes your goalkeeper make incredible saves, sometimes the fans can give you some hope, uh, some help, uh, and that's it. It's, it's, a, it's a lottery, you know. Alessandro, no Italian teams in the quarterfinals. Last season, we had three in the quarterfinals. What will be the re reaction in Italy? <laughs> a, a, a good drama, Jamie. A good drama <laughs> like uh, like uh, we we can do. You know, it's uh, it's sad because uh, you know, especially in Champions League with Napoli, Inter, they have a good opportunity to be honest. But uh, this is a reality. I'm always uh, I'm always you know. Facing the reality is the most important things, you know, and, and understand why you miss some opportunity. If the other team was better, okay. If you have some, some things to regret, well, you need to work on it. Uh, last year for us, for the Italian team, was something amazing. You mentioned three teams in quarterfinal. We had three teams in the semifinals. That's something crazy, you know. So it's uh, uh, considering all the cups and, and three teams in the finals, considering all the European cups, it was unreal for some reason, to be honest. But this, this time, it's, it's tough to digest because I think. Inter for the quality of the team, for the quality of the players, for what they are 
performing actually, especially in this moment, they deserve to be in the first eight. But the field is the only one that decide. And uh, tonight, the coin goes on Atletico.